Okay, hi, this is Meatloaf Part 2. Let's talk about Celebrity Apprentice. Uh, let's just, uh, we, we know about the, the Gary Busey uh, moment, and, and I'm really embarrassed by that, and I, I really, uh, uh, really didn't like that very much. Uh, did not want any of you to ever see me like that. Uh, a, very few, a few people have, but not very many, and now 40 million people in China think that I'm a madman. Which is not a good thing, although, I don't know, maybe it is. If I go to China, they'll get to stay out of my way. Um, so anyway, that, that, that wasn't a, a good moment. But let me just uh, go on about last week's show. You see, uh, John Rich, uh, in, the, in the beginning of the show, I was trying to explain to him about the future in the mirror and the guy. In the, and believe me, when I saw it back, I felt exactly the way, same way John did. I went... Whoa, that was that was Busey like, and so then John came on right away and said, "God, I'm glad Busey's not here because I'd jump out the window. I would have done the same thing." In fact, my wife was going, "What the hell are you talking about?" Uh, it took me a half hour to explain that to her. But if you keep looking in the show, uh, I get up to leave. I said, "I'm going to get a globe." I turned to John Rich. I said, "Don't write too much," which was exactly what they said. He overwrote. See, mm -hmm, right here, and. Uh, and then little John wanted a picture of a butler. I didn't want to take a picture of a butler, but they took put me in charge of taking a picture of a butler. So I didn't want the typical butler going, hi, come to my hotel. So I made him with confidence. They didn't like that, so they cut him down. But, you see, if, you, if you've T-voted, go to the end of my speech, and I go, the future is Trump. And pause it right there, because it's a really quick shot. I took my own set of pictures that the guys didn't want to use. Ivanka saw them and said, why didn't you use those pictures? I said, I wasn't project manager. So two nights ago, I was with Dinner and John Rich right here in New York City. Oh, boy, did I, did I dig on him. I love John Rich. In fact, let me tell you how much I love John, more than you can ever imagine. Not, you know, I'm not going to kiss him or date him, but that's, you know, if somebody might. I don't know if he'd let you. Uh, but the other thing I want to say is that John Rich, Mark McGrath, Lil John, and myself have all done a song called Standing in the Storm. And we're going to release it. I talked to Mr. Trump and I said, look, we want to release it on, on the Celebrity Apprentice label. And I'm, I'm, I'm fighting like crazy for us to do it in the, in the finale. And um, anyway, it's all, it's going to be split for all our charities, iTunes is going to put it up. And they're going to banner it for us. They're going to give us a nice push on it. Standing in the storm by the Backbone Band. And the last line of the chorus is, that's what a backbone's for. So that's my cele Celebrity Apprentice update. Next week, I'll give you another one after this week. Anyway, we're going to have some fun talking about that. See you later, dudes.